Hey everybody, this is John Stoffer here to bring you another tech tip from StreamingTeacher.com. Today we're going to be installing Mastercam on our computer. Uh, in this video I'm going to be doing a Mastercam 2021 installation on Windows 10. So the first thing we need to do is go to Mastercam.com. So here we are, Mastercam.com. Go ahead and log in right here. It's going to bring you up to the login screen and just log in like normal. If you don't have a Mastercam login, go ahead and create one right here. Uh, it's very easy to do. Once you're logged in, you're gonna end up at My Mastercam. So that's my.mastercam.com. And right on the main page, we have this button here for download now. So that's gonna bring us to this page and that gives us the three options. We have Mastercam 2021, 2021 for SOLIDWORKS or the 2020 Demo HLE. Uh, this button will get updated at some point once the uh, HLE becomes available. So uh, go ahead and grab this, or if you need the SOLIDWORKS installation, go ahead and grab this one instead. I'll be doing the standard installation. Once that download is complete, you'll see it down in the tray here, or you can also find it in your downloads folder under the Windows File Explorer. So go ahead and click this to get started. Once you click that, you're gonna get the extractor window. It's gonna come up and uh, do this little bar here. It's just gonna load several things on here before we can finish up the setup. Next, we need to set a language. There's a few available here. Grab that. On the next page, we can configure this. So we'll go to configure, choose the default units that you'd like to use and whether you'd like this application to install on all the users on this computer or just you. Um, then put in a username and a company name. Below the username and company name is the shared defaults folder and destination folder locations. We recommend that you leave these in the default setting, but if you do need to change these because you need to be able to share files over a network with other programmers, then you should give your local Mastercam reseller a call. With that complete hit done, then click next, accept the terms of the license agreement, and click next. Now Mastercam 2021 is going to install in your system. Once you get this window, then Mastercam 2021 has been installed. We'll go ahead and click exit. So now I'll minimize this. So once Mastercam has been installed, you need to get the licensing working. So we have a couple of licensing videos coming and if they're up, then there's going to be a link in the description below. If not, then you're going to be in one of two situations. If you've been running an earlier version of Mastercam, your licensing should still work fine for the new version. If this is your first installation of Mastercam on this computer, then you should contact your local Mastercam reseller for assistance in getting your licensing working. So once you have your licensing working, let's go ahead and run Mastercam. I'm gonna open up Windows and type in 2021, and that's gonna bring up Mastercam 2021. So this is preparing for first time use. It's gonna take a little longer to boot up the first time you use it than any time after that. It has to build a set of folders inside of your computer to get everything working. So once Mastercam has finished opening, uh, you will get a little pop-up in this corner here asking if you want to join the customer feedback program. It's up to you whether or not you want to do that. After that, you're going to be in one of two situations. Either you have not used Mastercam before on this computer, in which case you can skip this next step and uh, follow along once we get to the machine setup. If you have used Mastercam on this computer before, then you're going to need to run through the migration wizard. Now, if you have to run the Migration Wizard, you're going to be in one of two situations. Either you've been running a more recent version of Mastercam within the last three versions, and you can run the standard Mastercam Migration Wizard. For that situation, check the description below. We have a video coming out soon on the migration, uh, so you will see one there for standard Mastercam migration. If you have been running an older version of Mastercam, something that's more than three years older than the release that you just put on the computer, then you're gonna have a different set of instructions to follow. In that case, go to the description and check for a link to a video called Migration for Older Files in Mastercam. That one is specific to old versions of Mastercam that are more than three years behind the current release. Once you've run the migration wizard, then the next step is to set up machines. So to do that, we're gonna go over to the machine tab and we have our machine type here and however many products that you have with your license. Hit the down arrow there and go to manage list. And here you should see all of the machine posts that you have available. 
If they don't show up here, then you probably have them in a different location set up by your Mastercam reseller. In that case, you would just browse to that location, but this should pop up with the default location here. Once you find the machines that you want to add, you can just click them and you can do shift clicking and you can also do control click if you have just certain ones you want to add. Find the ones that you want and click add, hit the green check. And then once this reloads, you can hit that drop again and you'll find the machine there that you want to use. Make sure to go back and do this for all the products that you have. Once you're done setting up your machines, you're ready to set up your multi-threading settings. Again, we already have a whole video on this, so check out the link in the description below for the video on Mastercam 2020 performance tuning. Even though that video is made for 2020 specifically, it should work with all the modern versions of Mastercam. And the last step that we need to do is check for updates. Depending on when you're installing this from when it released, there may be an update two or even three. So we'll go over to file. We're gonna come down to help and check for updates. We'll hit check now. Once it's done checking, you'll get a pop-up window that'll either tell you there's no update available, or if there is an update available, then you'll go through those steps to get that update installed on your system. If you do have an update installed, make sure to go through the check for updates process again, as this is only going to get sequential updates. It's not gonna bring you all the way up to date in one step if there have been multiple updates. So that's it. Mastercam has now been installed on your computer and you're ready to go. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and head on over to streamingteacher.com for more great Mastercam content like this.